is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. Should we shoot them? An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, as long as you're burned, you're not going anywhere. When you're preparing to interrogate a trained operative, the most useful information isn't professional, it's personal. You need to get into the target's head, understand what makes him tick. Of course, that's easier with some people than others. I see. Shooting me just calling your name. Love to, but Vaughn gave me homework. Here's the day. Vaughn's checking Simon out of whatever hole they've been keeping him in, so I can have my face to face. Well, I can't imagine he'll be too thrilled to talk to the man who put him in that hole. Who knows? He might surprise us. As I recall, Simon is full of surprises. Escaping from prison, kidnapping you, trying to blow up half of South Beach. Leave it to you to invite him back to Miami. He was working with some pretty bad folks, V. Whatever they're hoping to decode with Simon's Bible. Whatever they're planning. Simon's the key to all of it. Thanks, huh, buddy? Quite a party. Well, with Simon, you can't take any chances. Never have fewer than six eyes and three guns on him. That's gonna be a problem. I want him alone. <laughs> Vaughn, if he was gonna talk to you, he would have done it by now. Good luck. I mean, the only thing I learned from him is he has a remarkable tolerance for pain. Yeah, well, my approach doesn't involve sharp instruments or electrodes. I don't care if you want to cut out his kidney with a pocket knife or give him a gallon of orange sherbet. One way or other, we want some answers. Michael Weston. I have been dreaming about this moment for months. So have I. But I wouldn't exactly call my version dreaming. Fair enough. So how you like being Vaughn's shiny new toy? Where is he, by the way? This is just between you and me. If this conversation goes well, Maybe I can help make your time with them a little more humane. Humane? That's one thing that's not in their bag of tricks, Michael. So let's get to it. What do you want? I found your Bible. Is that right? Well, I hope you found solace and comfort in the word of the Lord. Not exactly. Somebody else was trying to steal it before I got to it. I need to find out who. You know, I have been stuck in these shackles for months now, giving me a lot of time to think about the Bible, particularly my favorite verse. Handcuffs, like anything metal, are vulnerable to metal fatigue. Give someone enough time to work on them, and they'll break down just like anything else. John 8, 32. You shall know the truth, 
and the truth shall set you free. <laughs> Down here, Michael. We've got 30 seconds before the guards get here, so listen close. I got a present for you. From the cemetery, third and grand. Now, go to plot 837. There's some keepsakes of mine in there, including an audio tape labeled Berlin 2007. What? Listen! You gotta be careful digging it up. I think you're gonna find it real interesting. We'll talk about the Bible after you hear what's on that tape. Here they come. Let's make this look good! I killed it, son of a bitch! Let me out of here! Hey, go! Get out of here! Get him out of here! You alright? Did you learn anything? Yeah. You should replace his handcuffs more often. sympathy for you, Michael. You are damn lucky Simon didn't cut you to ribbons. He wasn't trying to kill me. He was just passing me a message. He told me to go dig up an audio tape he buried at Grove Memorial Park. You know, Mike, maybe you should leave the dead to their eternal rest. This is either a wild goose chase or a trap. Oh, Simon basically told me the thing is booby trapped. But I don't think you would have bothered if there wasn't something on that tape worth listening to. You know, unless it's a rare Beatles bootleg, I don't know why he didn't just tell you what's on that tape. Me neither. But Simon's not talking until I get a hold of it. But you're going back to see him? I told Vaughn to keep him around while I tried to come up with a new way to crack him. You were a glutton for punishment. Actually, I can't go after the tape by myself. Vaughn is playing nice, but he's watching me. I could use a little help on this. Yeah, I'd love to, but I got a thing. A hot date? Not exactly. A buddy of mine's in prison, down in Dade Federal Pen. He's worried that his life is in danger. Anyway, sorry, Mike. The guy was an asset of mine at Columbia. He saved my butt. I owe him. See? I'll go find a shovel. You're looking well-rested, buddy. Good to see you, Sam. So I got a call from your attorney. He said you thought your life was in danger? Damn attorneys, they don't know when to shut up. He was just supposed to talk to you about some estate issues. Estate issues, right. As in, when you're dead. Well, Juan, come on. I doubt that you would have appointed me as your executor out of the blue. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? You heard of Lonacion? The prison gang? Yeah, one of the biggest around. His AI crews, he's high up in it. Found out what I was in for. Thought I can help him out. He wanted you to wash the money? No, steal it from the gang. But see, you're a smart guy and you don't have a death wish, so you said no. Oh, Juan. Getting mixed up with the Colombians was one thing, you know, they didn't give you much choice, but. This? So they got a choice. How was I supposed to survive eight years in here? Anyway, he said that if I helped him skim from the gang's account, he would protect me. And so now the gang's after you. No, he is. I have a week left on my sentence. He's afraid I'll talk when I get out. He's spreading the word that I disrespected him so he doesn't look suspicious when he shanks me. I just heard about it this morning. I'll be dead by tomorrow. Maybe we can get you transferred. I'm not going to snitch on Cruz. You'll investigate the whole gang. I might as well invite Lana Sion to my family's house for a barbecue. They'll kill everyone. Oh, there's got to be something we can do here. I wish there was. Can I count on you to take care of Lisa and the girls? Yeah. You can count on me.
When you realize you're being followed, escaping isn't always the best option. If your pursuers don't know who you are, driving evasively, calling the cops, or pulling a gun will just send the message that you're a threat. 411, how may I help you? Yeah, I'm currently on Northwest 12th Street. I need the address of the nearest criminal defense firm. One second. Whenever possible, the best play is to make the bad guys think you're not someone to worry about. If they think you might be a cop who's onto them, you have to convince them you're just a harmless attorney working on an appeal. Oh, hey, counselor. Listen, you know, I've been going over that case and I wanted to, you know, talk to you about it a little bit. Excuse me, who are you? Excuse me? You don't remember the Bennigan subpoena? No. I oh, don't. come on. Hey, think harder, man. Hey, Sully! What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Uh, Bennigan. Uh, let me think. Forget it. Bingo's just a lawyer, man. Go. Is that the guy who got murdered over the parrot? Uh, no, but boy, that sounds like an interesting case. Catch you later. You want to break into prison. Are you insane? I mean, I can't protect my buddy from here. Juan is out in a week. How bad could it be? This is prison, Sam. I'm just guessing, but I think it could be pretty bad. I owe this guy. Back in 95, I led a SEAL team down to Columbia. You know, it was a drug war thing. Well, the Medellin boys put a bomb on our hotel, and Juan tipped us off. Okay, I understand you want to be loyal. This guy risked his life and his family, and I'm not going to let him get killed by some prison gang lowlife. That lowlife had you followed on your way out of the prison. Even if you were to get back in, it recognize you. Okay, so I'll shave my head or whatever. No, Sam, you can't. Listen, I'll do it. You would do that for my friend? I'd do that for you. Okay, I hate to interrupt this uh, beautiful moment you guys are having. Explain something to me. You're just gonna walk up to a federal prison and say, let me in. Trust me, I know a couple of people who would love to see me locked up. Hey, don't forget to ride, Weston. Gotta say, Weston, been looking forward to this day for a long time. Except in my dreams, it plays out a little different. I'm sure you can fly. <laughs> you get a longer stay, for starters. Maybe next time. You make the arrangements I needed? Wasn't a problem. You'll be sure to sell with this guy, Juan Luis, whoever the hell this is. Friend of a friend. Oh, butts are on the line here, Weston. I know we owe you a favor. A big favor. All I'm saying is anything goes wrong, it could splash back on us. I'll make sure I don't make waves. We left you a present in your cell. A phone, just in case you get into trouble. You'll be the first one I call. Guess we'll see you in a week, Weston. If you survive that long. <laughs> Every environment has its rules and customs and your survival often depends on knowing them. In Russia, you never refuse vodka. In Pakistan, you always clear your dinner plate. And in prison, you're careful about making eye contact. Too little eye contact and you become a victim. Too much eye contact and you become a threat. Either way, you're never more than a couple of blinks away from getting a shiv in your back. I'm Michael Weston. I'm me and new cellmate. Juan Ruiz. What are you in for? Just keep talking and try not to look surprised. I'm a friend of Sam Max. I'm here to make sure you stay alive until you're released. I don't understand. 
How did you get in? That's not important. What is important is that from now on you never leave my side. Like that. That is an example of leaving my side. Don't do that. This is crazy. Didn't Sam tell you about Cruz? He's a big dog in the nation. You think you're gonna keep him away from me by yourself? In here? I guess I'll just have to do my best. Listen, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But this guy has killed three people since he got locked up. When he wants someone dead, they die. Do yourself a favor. Stay away from me. Is that what you want me to tell your wife? Your kids? You gave up? Why are you doing this? Because I believe your life is worth saving. It's time you started to believe it yourself. That's him. That's Cruz. Told you it's not safe to be with me. See the way he's staring me down? No, he's he's just checking out the new guy. What are you gonna do? Make nice. Hi. Hey, hi. I'm Mike. Who are you, Mike? Oh, I'm just a guy wrongly accused. Big misunderstanding. You know, I borrowed a friend's car, got popped for a kilo of coke in my trunk. Lawyer says I could beat his friends. Yeah? No, he's he's my cellmate. Really? It looks like you and that punk ass are pretty tight, hanging out like a couple of schoolgirls. That's funny, schoolgirls. Uh, Just so that we have no misunderstandings, okay? This is my house, and you're just a guest. So I can treat you like my friend, or I can treat you like my bitch. Friend, please, friend. Okay. I don't want any trouble. Is there anything I can do for you, you know, or not do? Do you want me to be someplace at some time or not someplace or want to be, to be or not? Too many questions, cabron. You want to make the court date, you make no problems for me, okay? If I come by yourself, you clear out. Comprende? See, si, see, si, comprende is uh, no problemas. Okay. Done, done. Go back to your pendejo celly over there. I'm starting to think this is just Simon's version of a sick joke. Supposed to let him hear the punchline. You know, it's a cruel thing to say to a sweaty man who's digging for a bomb. Old cemeteries are great hiding places, as long as you don't mind desecrating a grave. People don't often go digging in cemeteries, and unlike buildings or houses, they don't get demolished or remodeled. Bury your stash near an old, nondescript headstone, and there's little chance anyone will uncover it, unless they're meant to. Hey, look what we have here. Doesn't look like it's booby trapped for me. Why don't you come down and help me get this baby out? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Don't touch it. What? <sighs> it's got a silicone seal. That thing's airtight. And? Whatever's in there ignites on contact with air. Oh. Probably a sodium metal. Open it. Boom. That's not to move it either. We have a tremble sensor. Oh, I see unstable minds think alike. So now what? See that liner? I think I know how Simon planned to get into it. We need a circular saw and some machine oil. We'll have to come back to defuse this little toy. Well, I don't know which one of us has a more dangerous gig. Us or Mike? Probably Michael. 
We don't have to eat prison food. You gonna eat that? In the jungle, the first warning that a predator is approaching is silence. When violence is imminent, animals instinctively know that keeping quiet and still is their best shot at survival. Prison's a lot like the jungle. Silence is not a good sign. Averted eyes, stockpiled food, and guys wearing heavy coats on a warm day also indicate troubles on the way. I don't like that look. Are you gonna be sick or something? It takes a little while to get used to the cuisine here, but it's good. No one's come within 10 feet of us in the last 15 minutes. Let's see the looks. My guess is Cruz is going to make his move soon. Jesus. We got to find a place to hide. Where's the library? This place has to have a law section, right? It's a little late to file an appeal. I already served eight years. Case books usually come in thick hard covers. We need the big ones. Get it? Suits of armor fell out of fashion because the added protection isn't worth the trade-off in speed and agility. Flak jackets and bulletproof vests are popular because they allow for a free range of motion. The key is to shield your core and mentally prepare for strikes against your unprotected arms and legs. All lightweight armor is vulnerable to some extent. Layered book cardboard won't stop a bullet, but it's dense enough to thwart all but the sharpest blades. Let's go. Why? You can go find us here? I don't know. But if we stay here, crews can come at us from too many different angles. We need to get to a more defensible position. You got some place in mind? Your cell. What? Elena and Sarah, my girls, I was just saying their names. Listen, we don't have to win. We just have to survive long enough until the floor guard arrives. Uh, looks like the floor guard is not helping us. He's with Cruz. We're gonna have to wait for the block guards to come for us. Get up there. do with that? Fight them off. With a hand towel. All right, do you have a gun? Take off, cabron. Guys, we don't want any trouble. Maybe you didn't hear me. You got five seconds to clear out. Fighting in tight quarters with your back against a wall may cut off escape options, but it creates a choke point and forces your opponents to form a single file line. If you have to fight a group, it's better to take them one at a time. They missed. I don't know who you are. But if you think this is over, this is not over. I'm gonna throw a big party here tomorrow. And this whole place is gonna get crazy. And the two of you, you're my guest of honor. See that guy that Cruz is talking to? That's the head of the South Bay Area Nation. That is not surprising. The SS tattoo kind of gave it away. It doesn't make any sense. The areas are always at war with Anasio. Exactly, so why not make money from starting one? That's a negotiation. Cruz is going to start a riot. That's what he meant by having a riot. Cruz is smart. His first attempt raised security. He knows you're safe now here in the cell. 
but a riot will give him the chance to kill you when the guards are distracted. Jesus, we're dead. Only if we stay here. Keep an eye out. Where did that come from? The FBI, believe it or not, told me to use it only in case of emergency. Now seems like a good time. Hey, Mike, how'd you stay at the gray bar? Lots of rugged men lifting weights, glowering at each other. Hey, does your phone have a camera on it? You guys are funny. I'm in prison. Yeah, sorry, Mike. Watching one's back isn't gonna work. Cruz is too powerful. He's planning a riot to kill us. We're gonna have to break out. A prison break, Mike. Juan has like a week left on his sentence. And I'm telling you, he's leaving early. As a fugitive or as a corpse, it's our choice. Can you use the ride as cover? That's the plan. There's a crooked guard named Hill on the cell block. It looks like Cruz is paying him off. Think you can lean on him? Yeah, anything you need, brother. Gotta go, I'll text you. Wow, that didn't sound good at all. Yeah, well, this doesn't look good. We're gonna have to do something about Grandpa there before we can dig up Simon's stash again. Well, you're gonna have to get some reinforcements. I gotta go pick up Jesse and run down this Hill character for Mike. Sure, this guy Hill is in Cruz's pocket. I mean, ten years as a prison guard, he's got a little house. This is a compact sedan. Just doesn't look dirty to me. He's not in it for the money. Hill's brother's doing a five-year stretch up in Ocala for burglary. Well, Nacion has guys in that joint. Hill doesn't play nice with Cruz. Little bro's cell turns into death row. Wow. And you're thinking the fact that this guy's getting blackmailed is something we can use to blackmail him. Look, leaning on a guy who's already squeezed doesn't exactly give me the warm fuzzies, okay? But Mike's life is on the line there. All right, it's showtime. You can help me or not. Yeah. George Hill, right? Who's asking? There's a couple guys looking for a favor. Got some friends staying in South Dade Correctional. They're looking to check out early, and you're going to help. Yeah, I don't think I will. I'll get the hell off my lawn before I call the cops. You know what? That's a great idea. Let's call the cops. We'll tell them how the Nacion is threatening to kill your little brother in Ocala. Just takes one phone call to open an investigation. Of course, I wouldn't want to be your brother once it gets back to Cruz that you're ratted him out. No. My brother's just a kid. He's not... We don't want anything to happen to your little brother. Okay? You do your part for us, we'll do our part to get rid of your cruise problem. What's my part? Well, first you're going to tell us everything about South Dade Correctional's riot procedures. It's not a great color on you. Great to see you too, Faye. So how's it going with Simon's buried treasure? Well, it's being guarded by a groundskeeper who's a little older than most of the people on the ground. Sam's busy with this, so I'm going to have to recruit your mom to help me. Fair I don't want to argue. We only have a few minutes, so let's focus. I can't stop thinking about you, babe. At night, it gets so bad. Am I talking to you, perv? No, I am not. I'm going to keep your nose out of our pillow talk. You've been thinking about me too, babe. I think he's gone now. You're no fun, Michael. Anyway, our friend Hill has been quite the help in getting your early release. Once Cruz starts the riot, you and Juan have about 20 minutes to get to the infirmary and hide inside the pharmaceutical locker. As if the prison wasn't already claustrophobic enough. Well, Hill said the thing's industrial sized. It's standard procedure for the guards to move it off site. As soon as a riot starts, they don't want the inmates raiding it during a commotion. Won't the guards look inside it before they drive it off? Oh, they probably will, but it'll be Sam and Jesse. He'll let them in his uniforms and a key card. 
Sam is busy forging copies of it. There's just one problem. Hmm. The door to the infirmary will be locked. Michael, some things you have to do for yourself. Okay, that's enough. You'll be good, baby. Incidental that both Michael and Sam are unavailable for lookout duty? They're busy helping a friend. Aren't they always? Should I worry? Uh, honestly, I would be more concerned about our little assignment than theirs. Well, that's reassuring. High school chemistry teaches us that volatile chemicals like sodium metal will burn when they come into contact with the moisture in the air which makes them ideal triggers for particularly nasty booby traps. High school chemistry also teaches us that oil and water don't mix. So to defuse a booby trap triggered by moisture, you submerge it in oil. It's messy, but it'll keep you from being blown to bits. It's cute, huh? Oh, don't worry. It's safe now. It's totally harmless. No, 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 it's not that. Um, what do you people say? I think we have company. Oh, damn it. Look, I need a sec to get this out and cover it up. Could you, uh... Yeah. I saw somebody over here. Are you in charge of this place? I'm the caretaker. Can you tell me what that truck is doing here? What does it look like? I had to hire a landscaper. Oh, ma'am, you can't do that. That's not authorized. Someone had to take care of Quinn's grave. You certainly haven't. And look, would you look at me when I'm talking to you? People have no respect. I'm grieving here. I'm dealing with the pain of a very serious loss, and, and, and you're just letting his grave go to hell. Do you have any idea how painful that is? Ma'am, are you confused? This is a historic cemetery. Everyone here has been dead for over a century. Well, it's not about how long it's been. It's about how much you love somebody. My great, great, great Uncle Quentin. This has been so important to our family. I'm sorry. We'll try to do better. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Becker, I'm done. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> Bye. The riot will probably start in one of the common areas. Now, when it does, the guards will try to lock down the cell blocks and move in to stop it. That's when we'll make our move all the way over here to the infirmary. I think the guards will be too distracted to see us. If Cruz throws the kind of bash he's promised, they'll have their hands full. I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but this sounds good to me. But then again, I never really broke out of prison. No, neither have I. You two, come with us. Where are you taking us? Time to see that barber. What's wrong with our hair? Let's go. Hey, Mr. What's happening? I think Cruz's party is about to get started. Run. 
This is cruising so long. Until the riot starts, we have nowhere to run to. Is this? He's in line, I guess. We're supposed to be responding to a cold black and cell block A when this goes down. The deal. <laughs> is done. A lot of guards, inmates, snitches. Let Michael go. He's got no beef with you. He had no beef with me. Would have been quick for him with my shift, but now it's going to be slow and painful for both of you. <laughs> set up to get someone out of here. If you're staying here, I guess Cruz will have to leave. Come on. Okay. Get in here. Keep your head down. How are you going to get into the infirmary? I'm working on it. Cruz is no joke. They were stirring up a hornet's nest. Yeah, well, let's hope Mike and Juan are not in the middle of it. Mike, you and Juan all right? I'm fine, but Juan's leg is busted. He's not making it to the infirmary. Mike, he has to. He can't, Sam. That's why we're going to give Cruz an early release. Mr. Weston, you're a very clever man. Cruz is already looking for us. If he found out that we're holed up, in the infirmary. I'll make sure that he does. What? Yeah, hey, your pal Cruz is hunting for my friends. I want you to make sure that he gets a message that he can find him in the infirmary. One of Cruz's guys has a phone. I could call him. George, just remember your brother now. You do this, and Cruz is not going to be a problem anymore, but you got to do it fast. All clear. Thanks, pal. I said keep your head down. Any medical facility is going to contain plenty of combustible material. Pure oxygen can pack a punch if paired with the right accelerant. The same properties that make ether a powerful anesthetic also makes it extremely flammable. Alcohol is used to sterilize wounds. Pour it on the floor, it can also make an effective fuse. Mike! Juan! Why don't you make it easier on yourselves, pendejos? Get out here! Yeah. 
any place where lots of dental lab work is done on the premises will have a butane torch. It's used to cast molds or teeth out of wax. It can also be used for any other task that requires a controlled, pointed flame. This looks about right. I guess Cruz finally got a taste of his own medicine. Okay. I need a little help here. Hey, you're not going back out there. Not without an FBI escort. Agent Harris, you said to call if there was trouble. Do you want to be a little more specific, Weston? Incidents inspire a police response as intense as a prison break. I can't get a key! Local, state, and federal authorities come after a fugitive with everything they've got. Dump an escaped prisoner someplace, give him a gun, make a few calls, and you can guarantee he'll make a lot of new friends in law enforcement. Please, don't move! Why are you stopping? Why are you stopping? Why are you stopping? I don't know, Weston. It felt more right when I was walking you in. Gotta say, I kind of agree with you. Not sure you don't deserve another stretch. Full-blown riot. A prison gang leader tries to break out of jail, and now several guards are admitting to taking bribes. You had nothing to do with that? You really want to know? No, I guess we don't. All right. Well, thanks for the update. I owe you. Well, that was my buddy at the U.S. Attorney's Office. They're going out to cruise. Well, it looks like somebody else already did. Apparently, the day after he was taken into custody, La Nacion got wind that his hands were in the coffers of the gang, decided to take matters into their own hands. I don't know how I can ever thank you and Michael. No, thanks necessary. I promise you your family will be taken care of. And they will be. Because they have you back. Okay, go. I'm not going to miss the unveiling of Simon's treasure trove. Card of photos and high school yearbooks. It's a rare combination. Here we go, Berlin 2007. This is the tape Simon wanted me to hear. And you're going to meet with Simon tomorrow to talk about this. Given my last go around with Simon, I told Vaughn I wanted to control the security this time. Simon and I are going to uh, meet outdoors, maybe along the beach. Oh, how romantic. for the men you sent for me. 
You'll find what's left of them in my hotel room. Simon, I love what you're... Please don't. I take it you've chosen to terminate my services? You gave us no choice. We know you've been working against us. Whatever will you do without me? Oh, we found a replacement. Very promising. Name's Weston. And if he doesn't work out, there'll be another. The work continues. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Simon. I thought Vaughn told you he had nothing to do with burning you. Obviously, he was one of the people who pulled the trigger. So, Mike, what are you going to do? I heard the tape. Now I know Vaughn helped choose me. I want to thank you for that. Hallelujah. Therefore, rejecting all falsity, let everyone rejoice in the truth with his brothers. <laughs> That's who we are, Michael. Brothers. Whatever you say, Simon. I still want to know what the Bible decodes and who's after it. The man who tried to take the Bible, he's not like you and me, Michael. We're just pawns in a very, very large chess game. But he's... Well, he's more like a king. Last time I checked, a pawn can still take a king. I guess we'll find out. The man's name is John Barrett. Ringy Bells. CEO of Drake Technologies. The same. Makes sense if you think about it. Multi-billion dollar corporation with holdings in telecom, infrastructure, tech. Whatever they destroy, they can rebuild. It's quite the business model, wouldn't you say? Simon, what does the Bible decode? Ooh, I'm not going to tell. But let's put it this way. If you deliver that book to Mr. Barrett, he'll have everything he needs to wipe out Vaughn and his ilk completely. Let him, Michael. You'll be free. Free to go gunning for Barrett yourself if you feel like it. Why tell me any of this? I would have worked with the devil himself to take down those sons of bitches that burned us. Sadly, the devil's not available. I'll have to pin my hopes on you. Go get him, brother. Get Simon to talk, Michael. He tried to convince me to kill you. I let him believe he convinced me. Should I be worried? I just told a psychopath what he wanted to hear. So what's next? You go after Barrett? Well, it's not that simple. A guy like Barrett, you can't go in with guns blazing. It calls for a more surgical approach. You're not done yet, but you made a hell of a lot of headway. This to your partner. I'm glad we found each other. Me too. <laughs> 